All right, friends, this STEM challenge is called the Marshmallow Catapult. Or we can just call it the Catapult Challenge, because if you don't have marshmallows, it's okay. So some items you're going to need are some popsicle sticks. These are the larger kind, but you could use smaller ones if you want. You're going to need about 10 of those. You're going to need a plastic spoon, and you're going to need several rubber bands. You're also going to need something to launch. So I don't have marshmallows today, but I have these cute little pom-poms that I'm going to try to use when I test out my catapult. Now there's tons of different designs that you can use to make a catapult, but this is a real simple one, and most of these items you may have at home with your craft supplies. So what we're going to do is we're going to stack about five of these popsicle sticks together, and we're going to rubber band them together. So I'm going to twist my rubber band on one end, and then I'm going to take rubber band, and I'm going to twist and test and get it good on the other end. So that way I have something that looks like that. Then we're going to take two of the other craft sticks. And one of these you're going to have to take your spoon and attach it to the stick. And so this is going to be kind of hard. You're going to have to kind of really stretch your rubber band around there. But we want to make sure that we get the spoon on there real secure because we don't want it falling off in the middle of our launch, right? So, that's on there. I think I could go one more time, maybe without, maybe it won't pop me. We'll try it one more time. So my spoon is on there secure. And I'm going to take the spoon and put it on top. And I'm going to take another popsicle stick. And I'm going to hook those together right there with an additional rubber band. Or make sure that's good and tight. So we have something that looks like this. The big stack of popsicle sticks are going to make a split and make that look like a V-shape. And then your spoon is going to be on top. So make sure that the open end of your spoon is at the top. Or else you're not going to have a good launch. So I'm going to lay that there for just a second. And I'm going to open up and pour out my little launchers here. Now let's talk a little bit about how this works. We know that this is an e engineering challenge within the STEM area, and we know that since we've got this kind of device rigged up to make a catapult, we know we have some kind of action. So we've got some elastic there, and so we know that we're going to have energy with this. And so this is a good demonstration of potential energy when I have my little launcher there in the spoon to kinetic when I flip it here in just a minute and hopefully hit the bullseye. The rubber bands give us a little bit of elastic potential because there is a little bit of a, a give to it with our rubber bands and our popsicle sticks. All right, so I'm gonna show you. Now I've actually made a target on the back of my door. So I'm going to try this first, and we're going to see if I can get it up. So you guys watch for the pom-pom. Nope, didn't make it to the door, but it did make it to the edge of the table and bounce off. So let's kind of show you what it looks like when I launch. So I'm going to hold on to my sticks because I don't want my catapult to go flying, right? Then I'm going to press down on my spoon, and then I'm going to let go. And if you saw the little pom-pom bounce... Um, out of there. Let's see if we can catch another one. So we've got good launch. So this is where your, the whole STEM process comes in, and especially the engineering process, where we may have to go back and reimagine our prototype here. And there's some things I could do. Maybe I could use some different rubber bands. Maybe I could change the position of my spoon. You know, that's always something that we could do and move the spoon a little further out. Let's try it with another one with a pink one. So I've got a little bit more distance on that one, but this is a fun, easy project, and all you're going to need is popsicle sticks, rubber bands, a spoon, and something to launch. So hopefully you've enjoyed this STEM challenge, and thanks for stopping by and checking out our STEM challenges.